Hi guys, welcome back. Today we are going to do this petal water marbling. Stick around if you want to see how it's done. This is the glass that I use to water marble with. It's not very big, um, but it's not too small either. It's more like a shot glass. And this is my water modeling tool. If you don't have one, you can use needles or toothpicks. I will be using this Dirty Neon collection from Native War Paint and a latex glue from Boy Cosmetic. You want to apply the latex glue around your cuticles. Just give it a good application um, and you want to go up high because you when you dip your nails and you are going to be going in and you, you want your skin to be protected and also going to be doing the back of my fingers because those will get dirty too you want to go in and cover any areas you do not want to um, clean up or have a lot of messes to clean up. I'm going to start. See how, these polishes are great for water marbling. See how well they um, spread. And you want to keep continue this pattern. And I'm going to be using all six polishes um, to show all the colors. You want to place the brush as close as you can to the water and make sure your water and your polishes are always the same room temperature. Now I'm ready to marble. I'm going to be pulling in from the third ring in because the last two ring is probably really dry and if I pull it's going to make um, it's not going to pull very good. So I want to pull in and when I get to the center, I kind of push it in a little bit so that way um, the polish will stick there. I don't know how to describe it, but it just looks better when I push it in in the center. So just keep pulling in and you want to go in slow and steady. You, um, you do not want to rush this because Water marbling is um, can be hard, so to redo it again would be a waste of polish and your time. Uh, and you want to clean off your brush every time you pull out to get all the polishes off so that you'll have a clean pull each time. Now I'm going to turn it to the position I desired so that it would be easier for me to place my fingers. And when I'm ready to place my finger, I bend it at a 45 degree angle and I go in very slowly so that um, I do not get bubbles. And simply pull your finger out. Now I'm going to pull out that latex glue. Just simply peel it off with using a tweezer. It's usually easier than this. This looks complicated, but it's really easy. I didn't let it dry enough. And now I'm going to clean the polishes off the cuticles and also on my skin that I got on there. This marbling can get really messy, so you always want to um, protect your skin. Um, if you do not have latex glue, you can always use tape like scotch tape just make sure you put it as close to your cuticle as you can that way it's a lot easier and you just have to pull it off now i'm going to apply it with this one of my favorite top coat it's bought from shop love angeline now i'm going to apply my top coat on making sure i get all the areas also the corner and the bottom of my nails there you go hope you like it Here's another look. I hope you like it. And if you do, click like or subscribe. Thank you.